Hello everybody, welcome to Two Minutes with PJ. Our discussion today is going to be on morals, March 9, 2016. This is found in Genesis, Exodus, and in the book of Daniel. As we know in Genesis, the earth was flooded because the people were corrupt. Noah and his family were saved, and this was because of their morals. The same happened with Sodom and Gomorrah, and they too were destroyed. In Exodus, the Israelites practiced the ways of the Egyptians when they worshipped the gold calf while Moses was on Mount Sinai, receiving the Ten Commandments. This sin upset God, and when Moses got back down with the first set of commandments, he smashed them against the rock. They were destroyed. He took the calf. He ended up going ahead, melting it, grinding it, and then putting it in the water for the Israelites to drink. Now the Israelites repented. They asked Moses to go back up to the mountain, and then Moses received the second set of tablets of the Ten Commandments. In the book of Daniel 7:25, he will defy the Most High and wear down the saints with persecution, and he will try to change all laws, morals, and customs. God's people will be helpless in his hands for three and a half years. This is talking about Satan. Okay, what I get from this is when we follow the pagan ways, our morals are corrupt and we aren't doing what is right to God. Satan loves to lie to us, tear us down, and cause us to defy God. When we are immoral, this angers God as it did with Sodom and and Gomorrah, and with Moses when he smashed the tablets. We tend to change laws, morals, and customs because Satan is telling us to do so. God wants us to be back in fellowship with him. This is why he sent Jesus, his only son, to free us from sin. And this is also why after Jesus ascended into heaven, he sent the Holy Spirit as his helper. So let uh, everyone, I'm just hoping that you will follow the ways of Jesus today and have a blessed day. God bless.